Hello, I'm Ranli from GB Times in Beijing, China. Top news today, China has stepped up the crackdown on corruption. The China Daily reports a Beijing court Monday handed down the death penalty with a two-year reprieve to former railways master Liu Zhijun for bribery and abuse of power. Liu was accused of accepting 64.6 million yuan or 10.5 million US dollars in bribes between 1986 and 2011. His case is one of China's biggest corruption scandals in recent years. The verdict came after it was announced that four minister-level officials suspected of violating party discipline have been under investigation since June. Experts said the crackdown on cor corruption has been tightened, especially among high-level officials. Professor Julie Jia said fighting corruption is clearly high on the new leadership's agenda, but it's equally important to fight corruption among low-level officials. Professor Lin Zhuo said recent measures taken by disciplinary authorities to prevent corruption are a good start to intensify internal supervision. She also called for anti-graft mechanism to be improved. Also in news, the Chinese government has issued a specific guideline to stabilize capital flows. Xinhua News reports the guideline is to guarantee the efficient use of credit and to support rebalancing of the economy. It contains 10 key points, such as to continue to pursue prudent monetary policy, to impose a strict curb on credit and direct financing for industries suffering from overcapacity, to support small business and rural development, and to open more areas for private investment in the financing sector. Vice, uh, Vice Finance Minister Zhu Guangyao said, prominent, prominent risks are not only in the shadow banking area, but also in local government financing vehicles, and we do need to be on high alert. Economists see the guideline as a sign that China will press on with reforms despite the continuing, continuing slowdown in economic growth. Thanks for following GB Times. We're also on Facebook and Twitter. I'm Randy in Beijing. Goodbye for now.